Hey guys, in this video we are going to work on the footer navigation, how to navigate between these three sections or pages and we are going to work on this stepper. This is a flexible stepper, you can move between these steps using back and next buttons or through these uh, buttons of the stepper itself up there, here. So let's get started. Let's create a new component. We're going to call it bottom nav. Let's import the box component from Material UI. And let's add paper component we need to add some shadow and we we are going to make it uh, fixed positioned let's give it elevation 3 and let's add some styling position is fixed button 0 left 0, right 0 and let's give it the index 2 this will make it fill the whole footer from left to right and let's add here inside it the component bottom navigation of material UI let's add some properties show label so we can see the titles and value it is a state let's create this state value and set value and let's give it 0 as default value and best here and when it change when we click on any of these icons we will receive the event and the new value of this icon and we will change our state depending on that new value and let's add these buttons or icons the first one label will be map and we will add the icon location Let's import this icon from Material UI icons. And let's copy it twice. First one is rooms. And let's change the icon to be bed. And here the label for add room and we will change the icon as well let's save it and import it inside our app component and let's save and check now when we click the state change and the, the active icon as well now let's create our component to switch between these sections let's create folders for these sections first one will be map and inside it our component cluster map and another folder for rooms inside it our component rooms and the last section is add room and inside it our component add room 
we created folders because we are going to create more components inside these folders. And let's go back to our bottom nav component. Let's add here a switch. This is how you can write a switch inside GSX. The first one, in case the value is zero, is our map. And let's copy it twice. The second one will be rooms. And the third one will be add room. And let's save and check. It's not appearing here because it is beneath this uh, navigation bar because it is absolute. So let's go to our navigation bar and add the same height. This is what fills our navigation bar. So let's first add uh, React Fragment and drag this inside it. And let's add Toolbar here. This will add the same height. Let's save and check. And here is our component. And when we switch the component switched as well. Let's go back and add here reference because we need to scroll up to the beginning of the section when we switch to that section. So let's create ref using React use ref and let's use use effect. This use effect will depend on the value. There is any change in this state. We will scroll up in this document. And let's now go to our add room to add our step up. Let's add container. This container will centralize our components inside the page. And let's give it vertical margin. Here let's create our stepper. Alternative label will add the labels underneath the button, not beside it. Nonlinear means that it is a flexible stepper. You can move between steps using the stepper buttons. And active step, we need to add here a state for that. Let's create this state. Active step and set active step. And let's give it zero as default value. And let's pass it here. And here let's give it margin from bottom three. Here let's create our steps. It is an array of objects. First step label will be location and completed the default value is false. And let's copy it twice and update location here to be details. And the last one is images. And let's loop through these steps inside our stepper steps.map and we will receive the step object and the index of that object and we will add 
here step component key is the label of the step completed will be our step dot completed and let's add the buttons inside it our label and on a click we will change our state active step to be the index of this step so it will be the active one let's save it for now and check how it looks let's go to add and here's our stepper if we click on any of these buttons the active step changed accordingly and let's go back now and add our buttons back and next let's add them inside the stack component and let's change the direction of this stack to be row and let's give it padding top 2 and padding bottom to be 7 justify content space around and let's add first our back button color will be inherited disabled will depend on our active step value if it is zero the first one that means it is disabled, it will retain true because it is the negation. And on a click, we are going to decrease one from the active step. Set active step, active step minus one. Now let's add our next button. Disabled will be controlled by our function. We are going to create this function. Check disabled. We need to invoke it with every render. And on a click, we are going to create handle next function for that. Let's first create our function check disabled. First, we will check if the active step is not the last one. That means it is less than the length of our steps array, minus one. In this case, we will retain false directly and we will stop the execution here because it is not the last one. Not disabled. And if it is the last step, we are going to try to find the index of any of these steps that it is not finished yet it is uh, false so the step is not completed if all the steps completed this function will retain minus one so we are going to check if the index is not minus one that means there is still step not finished yet so we will retain false that means it's still active but in case the index is minus one that means it is all finished so we will just retain true to disable our next button this find index we are going to use it in our handle next function as well so let's create it as a function let's call it find unfinished and let's just paste it here and replace it with this new function. Now let's create our function handle next. We will use the same condition if the active step is not the last one. Here we will just set the active step to be the old active step plus one. And in case it is the last step, 
we are going to use our function find unfinished and this will retain us the index of the first unfinished step and we are going to set that index to our state active step let's save and check back is disabled now because it is the first step when we go to next it, it goes to next step and when we go back it goes back to our previous step now it is disabled here if we go to next we go to the last one and we rotate back when we go to next we go back to the first one now let's try to make the first one to be true that means it is completed and let's check how it will be is now the location checked that means it is finished now we are in the last one if we click next we go directly to the second step not the first one because it is already finished now let's try to make all of them finished or completed and let's go back it is all checked if we go we are in the second one now the third one and next is disabled because it is all completed now let's add our steps components let's go to add room folder and create new three folders first one to add location inside it a new component to add location and another folder for add details and inside it our component to add details and the last step is adding the images inside it our component to add images And let's go back to our add room component. And here, let's add new box component to contain our steps. And let's use the switch case here. It will depend on active step. If it is zero, it will be add location. And let's copy it twice. If it is one, it will be add details. And in case it is two, it will be add images. These completed states will be controlled using our steps components, but we are going to deal with that in our next video, not here. And now let's save and check again. Now our steps components appears here. If we go to details, it is details, images, it is images. And when we switch steps, our steps components change as well. In our next video, we are going to build these components and we are going to start by images, how to upload images using the drag and drop feature. So see you guys in our next video.